The case against actor Alec Baldwin for involuntary manslaughter has been dismissed. Let's dive into the details of this shocking decision. Santa Fe, Judge Mary Marlowe Summer dismissed the charges against Baldwin after his attorneys filed a last-minute motion to dismiss. They argued that key evidence, a collection of ammunition, was not disclosed to them in time. This ammunition was crucial to Baldwin's defense. Much of the testimony in the trial focused on how live ammunition ended up on the set of Rust, where a tragic accident occurred during a rehearsal in October 2021. Baldwin was holding a gun that discharged killing cinematographer Helena Hutchins. The judge agreed with Baldwin's legal team, stating that the prosecution's failure to disclose details about the additional ammunition was enough to dismiss the case with prejudice. This means Baldwin cannot be tried for this charge again. Baldwin and his family were visibly emotional in the courtroom. He has been supported by his wife and siblings throughout the trial. So what was the evidence that ended the case? Around the time of Hannah Gutierrez Reed's trial, a man named Troy Teske turned in a collection of bullets to the Santa Fe Sheriff's Office. He claimed they were from the same batch as the live ammunition used on the Rust set. Prosecutor Carrie Morrissey, a friend of Gutierrez Reed's father, downplayed the significance of this evidence, believing it was not related to the fatal bullet. However, Baldwin's legal team saw this as a potential cover-up. Judge Summer agreed with Baldwin's attorneys, ruling that the state's failure to provide this discovery was highly culpable. Earlier on Friday, the jury was dismissed as the judge considered whether to proceed with the case. Baldwin had been facing up to 18 months behind bars if convicted. Testimony began on Wednesday, with prosecutors arguing that Baldwin flouted safety standards on set. His defense contended that others were responsible for ensuring no live ammunition was present. Hannah Gutierrez Reed, the film's armorer, was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter earlier this year and is serving an 18-month sentence. Meanwhile, Helena Hutchins' widower, Matthew Hutchins, settled with Baldwin and other Rust producers and even became an executive producer on the film. The tragic death of Helena Hutchins has reignited the debate over the use of real guns on movie sets and the broader issue of on-set safety. 